Stock Indices came to the end of their record-breaking run last night, thanks to comments from Fed Chair Jerome Powell. Want to know more? Keep watching. Hello, I'm David and this is Trading Today. Yes, last night, the S&P, which was uh, basically had had eight positive sessions in a row and the Nasdaq had had nine of them, both records going back to November 2021. Those records, unfortunately, not progressing any further because we had a negative session across Wall Street last night. Stock markets have been, stock indices have been doing very well during the day, but they suddenly hit a brick wall and declined. So the Dow ended the session down 0.7%. S&P down 0.8 and the Nasdaq down 0.9%. Now, we did come off further overnight, but we are seeing a bit of a bounce today. And this is just as we get into the open of the main session on Wall Street. S&P is picking up now. It got down. It, we, do you remember we sort of almost got up to 4,400 yesterday afternoon? We then pulled back. We pulled back down to about 43.38 as it's at its lowest. We're now in the 43.60s, so we're seeing some recovery here. So I suppose a lot of people who were unable to get into this market on the bullish side and were unwilling to pay up at 4,400 have got a better entry level. But it's not all over yet. Why did why did the uh, bull run come to an end? It was because of what Jerome Powell said. He basically said hang on a second, don't get carried away. The Federal Reserve is still very concerned about inflation and it is prepared to raise rates if it thinks it's appropriate. So don't think that the Fed is done and dusted when it comes to hiking interest rates. That was the news the market didn't want to hear. That was the catalyst and the trigger for a sell-off. Other things to look out for today, we're seeing another dip lower in precious metals. Gold back again below an area of a significant area of support around the 1950 mark. Um, it, it, Went down below that yesterday, but it bounced up quite sharply uh, back up to about 1965. But now it's just drifted lower and it's back below that level again. Silver also under pressure. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this of interest. If you did, please like and follow and best of luck with your trading. Goodbye.